Hi guys, it's Michelle. Welcome to my channel, Grateful Creations. Hope everyone had a wonderful holiday. I have been a little MIA. I've had several projects going and I had a unsuccessful uh, art show uh, last weekend. So I went down to City Hall and I got a, a permit to, yes, in Dania Beach, you need a permit to have a yard sale. And I had a yard sale for like three days. So that's where I've been. So I, um, I've got some really cool stuff coming up though. And uh, we're gonna get you down. We're gonna do an experiment on how to mix those pigments, the uh, TLPs with the RIT dye. Uh, and it is an experiment, so I haven't even tried any of it yet. Uh, let, yeah, let's get you down on the, on the canvas. Well, it's not even the canvas. <laughs> let's get you down and uh, we'll work on some tiles, some test right, tiles. guys, here we are. I have, I'm going to be using TLP Mermaid as our test pigment because I have lots of it. Oh, and <laughs> ice bit me. Can you believe that? Um, I was petting him and he was fine and then I must have uh, hit, hit one of his uh, sore spots and he nabbed me. So anyhow, I am going to take so we're gonna have a lot of blue. This is mermaid, and you want about that much in each. Oh, I gotta put my mask on, hang on. Ugh. All right, I got my mask on. Ugh. Kind of a little bit late, right? Not really. Um, you don't wanna be breathing this stuff in because you it gets into your lungs and it doesn't come out. How about that? So, mixing. I am going to try to wet my pigments with this. And then this one, I'm gonna wet my pigments with the GAC 100. And this one, I'm gonna wet my pigments with the Liquitex Gloss Medium. So let's try each of these. You know what, I need to shake this up. I should probably put gloves on too. Take like two of these. Well, maybe not two. Maybe two. That's a rip dye. <clears throat> this one's in aquamarine. And let's give it a stir. Oh, that's why you want your mask on. Oh, geez, Louise. My mask on. Oh, you can't see. Ta da! All right, so this is getting pretty wet. <laughs> oh my god. Seriously, though, this is serious business. You definitely do not want to get this stuff in your lungs. So, it's pretty liquidy. I want to try and get all of it from the Besides, these sticks are wonderful for that. And this, we're mixing for the pearl. Okay, so this one I'm gonna mix with GAC 100, which is what I've been doing all along. And it's made to make paint. Holding this away from my face. one we're going to use the Liquitex pouring medium. Three different ways. going to put oh. Oh, I'm gonna put deck 
color in this one. Liquitex regular pouring medium. It's not the gloss. I prefer the gloss because, oh, geez. Oh boy. Okay, see, now this is what's happening. Uh huh. That doesn't work. Oh, it's a good thing we found out, eh? Look at that, what a mess. Wow. It's paste. Okay. So we know that doesn't work. Holy moly, it is like seizing up on me. It's like turning completely solid. Completely solid, look at that. <gasps> Wow, what a great experiment. <laughs> wow. And I didn't even put any of the, uh, the gel in it. Holy crap. All right, so I have not put this in here yet. It could be I had too much of this in see what happens here. This is working out fine. I have not put the, um, the gel gloss in yet. I just put too much Rit dye in. Now this is pretty thick, but it's not like that first one. Oh my God. All right, so this is working out so far. All right, now, just for giggles, I am going to use Liquitex Basics Gel Medium instead of the Golden Soft Gel. About that much. I usually put this in first. A little bit harder to uh, stir up here, but that looks good. So this is like, oh dear, kind of pressing it up against the side to stir it. All right, it's probably best to put the gel medium in first. Mixes up better. Although that's not bad now. So sometimes it matters how, what you put in first. Ah, yeah, that's, that's nice. And that's what the gel medium, that's exactly the consistency we want too. All right. <laughs> How's this one doing? It's still doing good. And I'm going to put also the artist or the Liquitex gel medium. Because not everybody can afford the, the golden and it's not always available. And I found that any any gel medium works. Tara Lombardi has a, a 
video on how she mixes her pigments or TLPs for Dutch pores, which is almost the same. Okay, that's a little thicker. So what I would do here is add GAC 800, but I want to add Floetrol to one of these. This is way thick, thin, so I'm going to add the Floetrol to this one to see if it affects the shimmer. I'm sure it will because I never use Floetrol when I'm mixing my pigments because it dulls them. That looks good. There's still some shimmer there. We'll see what when we blow it out. And then this one, we're going to add the GAC 800 because it's pretty thick. Did we add? Yeah, we did add gel, gel gloss. Okay, so we use GAC 800 to thin things out. All right. All right. That's a good consistency. I don't know if that's even salvageable. Look at this. You know what? Oh, wow, it's completely hard. It's completely hard. Pretty crazy, eh? So what I'm going to do, just for giggles, is I'm going to try this again without this. Um, here we go. This time, Let's try this medium before right off the bat. So you don't want to mix your Brit dye, you don't want to wet it with it. I prefer the GAC 100 because it's made to make pigments into paint. But I know a lot of people who wet their pigments with pouring medium. So, we'll try it out. Now I'm gonna put the gel medium, gel gloss medium in. Oops. And now we're going to add the writ. That's fine. Now, just for giggles. I wanna see if this makes it react. like it did before. So I think you just can't mix. Yeah, it's fine. You can't wet your pigments with the, the red dye. This is fine. Look at that. Isn't that crazy? Oopsie. Put a little bit more in just for giggles. Yeah, it's fine. So how you put it in matters. needs a little bit more I'm messy
now we're going to test them out. And I'm going to do a shadow pour for all of these with just one color. So I'm going to flood my little canvases here. Yeah, this is a little thick. Whoopsie. I need to get some of this out to get more water in it. I'm gonna be doing a painting after here, so. So what I'm gonna do. I'm looking at a painting I did last week. Oh my God, it turned out so pretty. All right, well, if you must see it, if you must. <laughs> Look at this. I don't know if you guys can see the shimmer on here, but it's just amazing. That was my scoop and drag I did. I love the colors, love them. Okay, I couldn't wait to show you. All right, so I'm gonna stir this up a bit now before I forget. Now that's, that's much better. It's amazing how much water you need for this, you know? A lot of people don't think they need a lot. You know, oh, it's, it's, it's yeah, it's too thin. It's, or it's thin enough or no. Nope. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm going to try each one of these. Liquitex Regular Pouring Medium, GAC 800, and Liquitex Gloss Gel Medium. These all have a squirt of the RIT dye, which is right here, and that is in Aquamarine. And the second one is we wet it with GAC 100, used the pouring medium, and then we use the gloss gel medium from Liquitex. And then the third one, we wet it with Liquitex gloss medium. And then Floetrol. And I put a squirt of GAC 800 in here.
Wow, that one's not really reacting as well. You know what, I need to give it time. All of them, this has more cells. This is kind of cool. nice to see those reactions right away however <clears throat> when they happen that quickly sometimes they get wonky but I'm actually wow oh, kind of liking this one the best so far it's really um I don't think I put two. Let me put a little bit more of the red dye in here. Did I put it in it all? Not sure. Oops. I'll have to go back and see if I did that at all. Teco or pouring medium is a cell maker. Look at that. Holy crap. <clears throat> All right, let's put one over here. This is like fading, but it's kind of got a nice fade to it, you know? I'm so glad I'm doing this. So this has got the Floetrol in it. That's why it didn't do anything. It's got Floetrol in it. in with the pigments, especially, yeah, the TLPs. Yeah, so far I'm liking the decor at pouring medium the best. Although this does give a nice shade. You know what? No, I like the decor at pouring medium. Well, looks like I might have a new recipe. <laughs> wow. You guys will have to let me know what you think is the winner. This is actually starting to, um, I'm gonna let it sit for a bit, <clears throat> put you on um, time-lapse and come back. I'm on break. another one here. This one was with the Liquitex Gloss Medium. I, I did wet it with the GAC 100, put some gloss medium in, and then did, I, I'm being consistent with the gloss gel medium throughout this experiment. Uh, I could do it the whole thing all over again with the golden, but I gotta say, this deco art pouring medium is pretty cool. I mean, I noticed that the it gives you a lot more lacing and pearls, but they seem to have broken up a little bit. So once I gave it another little blow, um, 
I don't know. We'll have to see how it dries. This is crap. That is um, the Floetrol. That doesn't work. And I'm not real happy with the Liquitex regular pouring medium, not the gloss. This one's a little bit thinner. This one's a little thicker. And this one's ah, so-so. I'm actually pretty impressed with this, but we'll have to see how all of it dries. And yeah, I'm uh, very pleasantly surprised. So it looks like the, the cells are more defined on this one and the colors are a lot brighter. But I, I did notice that they do tend to get swallowed up a little bit and get mal malformed, malformed, misformed, misinformed. <laughs> so we'll have to see. I'm going to do the painting and I am going to mix my colors with this decor. Hopefully I have enough. Um, but I'm going to mix my regular colors too, like my tubes with this as well to see how it works. And I might, now that I have a whole gallon of this, <laughs> oh well. Yeah. Um, pretty cool experiment. So flow trial is a no. And Liquitex regular pouring medium is a no. But um, the other two, not bad. This one, this is the one I'm used to using. Maybe my pearl mix is a little strong. Could be. I really like that though. All right. I'm off to um, mix up some more and do a painting.